We're back on the topic of colloidal silver. Now, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, in an earlier episode, I went out into our orchard to spray the nectarine and peach trees with a product called colloidal silver. And it's a liquid, as I have in here. It's a little bit milky, as you can see there. Don't worry about the brand of the bottle, but the stuff inside then. What we have in here is silver particles, microscopic particles suspended in distilled water. I didn't make this stuff, it was given to me to trial because the first trial that I did, uh, the mix that I used or the colloidal silver concentration rate was at five parts per million. That's how it's measured uh, in distilled water. Now I diluted that down to five parts. They tell me to use it straight, 20 parts per million, do not dilute, meaning don't add any other water to it. You need to use distilled water. So we're going to leave that trial as it is. So the, the trees that we, we sprayed, you can look that up on our previous videos or scroll through the uh, videos we've posted. Uh, look for that video. You'll see the trees that I've done there. They're relatively young trees. Well, four-year-olds, but young because they've also, well, small because they also copped a bit of dieback and they haven't been maintained properly. That's my fault. You know, I claim that. This one here, we've been maintaining a lot better. Um, it's an advanced tree. We've had some leaf curl in the past, a lot of leaf curl, in fact. In previous years, you've heard me speak about it, and I did again on radio uh, yesterday morning, Saturday morning. Uh, it's people asking what to spray their peach and nectarine for leaf curl and other problems like that. The bluestone-based fungicide is the, the, the go-to product, but again, that is a high, it's a fungicide and it's non-selective. It'll do a bit of damage to good microbes as well as the knock out the bad fungi that you got on the tree. But we're trying to see if we can find better ways, um, cleaner ways, more environmentally friendly ways, all that sort of stuff. And we've stumbled across this. Craig's used it. He's done it once on bud swell or burst or just before burst or just after, whatever. He's done it before or after. Either way, it's active is what I'm trying to say. So mine are swelling. It's still a little bit early, I think, but I'm just eager to get it on the tree. So. Uh, make a note, first, second day of August is when I'm spraying this tree. You only need to spray it once. Now, those trees are sprayed once with five parts. This one I'm going to spray, which is undiluted, 20 parts per mil, million, is what the dilution mixture rate is on this one here, or made for me. Now, some people have messaged as well saying it's probably cheaper to make your own than it is to buy. And that's probably true, because you buy a five litre bottle, it's a few bucks on it, but you should be able to get a half decent coating on the tree on it. And I don't, I don't think you need to have it to the point of runoff, a light mist on it. But look, this is all trialing. You know, we're doing a little bit of an experiment and research on it. Uh, and that's why we document it with a video. So we're going to spray this one, 20 parts per mil. The other ones were five parts. And there's another group of four trees that have got no spray on them at all. So that'll be our, that'll be our indicators to let us know that leaf curl is present. And as soon as we see leaf curls on those ones, I'm going to try and treat them, but I want to see the signs of it before I treat them. Uh, again, with this, because I want to see how well it works after the leaf curl has started to develop or show its ugly face. So one, those sprays, wait till they get affected. Other ones, five parts. And this one, well, this is 20 parts per mil. And if you're loving this hand sprayer that I've got here, folks, it's great, but there's none on the shelf. And we're waiting for the batch to come in from manufacturers. So be patient with it. You can use other cheaper sprayers that don't work as well as this one. <laughs> well, look how easy this is. Look, just, I'm not going like that. I'm not getting a arthritis in my hand or my fingers. Anyway, not to the point of runoff, but the way I spray this tree, you can see it really just easily coats the tree. I, I think this is a 750 mil bottle. So I reckon I had about 600 mil in here. So the tree is about two and a bit meters, meters tall. Well, in the old measurement, it's only one and a half because I'm two and a half meters tall. Oh, that didn't work. I got that wrong. That's four meter tree because I'm two and a half. At the moment, I'm two and a half years old. That's what I am. All right, drench, bud swell. We've given it a light prune. Probably a couple of more branches I can take off here. I've used 500, look at, that is crazy. I'm putting it up in the sun. I'm not sure if you can see it from that angle. No, you can't that much. Whether it's a reflection of my red shirt, but I want you to swing around and have a look at this through the sun and tell me, can you see that? Is that bad position? What color is it? Pink. It's pink, isn't it? It's not my shirt, is it? No, it's not reflecting. So there's a bit of pink in there. So the metal is actually reflecting. So there is colloidal silver, if that's the color of it. Well, there you are, folks. Because the other one that I did wasn't as dark as that because I obviously diluted it. So I've only used 500 mil on this tree. 
It's the 2nd of August, I think, if I haven't got the dates wrong, either way, 2nd or 3rd. We're going to come back and see as this develops if it's going to work. So colloidal silver. Now, if you can't get this stuff, um, you can research it online. Uh, reputable outlets, folks, or suppliers. Uh, I'm working with a couple of suppliers here at the moment and seeing which one's going to be the best one for us. Use bluestone or wettable sulfur if you need to, or even bicarb soda. Mix that down one teaspoon in a litre. Spray your trees with that. That's a great fungicide um, as well. Natural forming, obviously. Otherwise, wait for the results from this, and we'll know what to do next year. Check out our website, thesillysgarden.com. End of uh, end of winter sale is on up to seventy percent off. Uh, and if you're trying to find our outlets, go to our click and collect tab on the page, and you'll see all the outlets and their contact details there as well. From Eva Silly, Maresi. Hey, don't forget to switch into 3AW in the morning if you're watching it. Sunday, that is. I'm doing Talkback Radio with Darren James on gardening, of course. Maresi.